Hello and welcome to this shortcuts video for targeted marketing. Now if this is your first time sending a campaign with us you can find our marketing overview video to guide you through the basics. So then what is targeted marketing? Well it's marketing that is splitting your target audience into specific segments and then designing your campaigns to reach these segments most effectively. Targeted marketing can greatly increase the potential in reaching specific customers and is available to both our cloud-based customers and our Marketing Plus customers. To do this, simply start by opening up your Shortcuts Fusion system. Once inside Shortcuts Fusion, we're going to click onto the Tools icon on the right-hand side. We're then going to choose the third icon down that says Marketing, and you'll be presented with this screen here. At the top, we've got our services done, and products purchased, a way to target our clients based on services they've had done in the past and products they've also purchased. Now the services done can be drilled down into service categories or specific services, such as a root in or wash cut and blow dry. And services not done is a way to target those clients that have not had certain services or products purchased with you. Underneath, we can also do it via clients restricted too. So currently we are looking at all clients, but this is going to be a targeted marketing campaign. So we're going to split down our clients into segments. This can be done via preferred employee. Now in Shortcuts Fusion, a preferred employee is when a client sees one of your employees three or more times consecutively. You can also split it down into clubs or programs, towns, referred methods, occupations, birth month, age and gender. Now you'll also notice we have some further configurable options towards the lower half of the screen, such as new clients, we can set a date range to target those new clients that visited, clients who referred and non-returning clients as a way to try and win those clients back that haven't returned within a specific date range. This is also very handy for transactional marketing. We can also do frequency of services, products and the monetary value spent on both these services and these products. Once these parameters have been filled out, we can click the done button towards the bottom right hand corner. Now let's say I want to target my clients on specific services they've had done. So this will find clients that have had previous services with me. Now this can be done via service report category, which will be a little bit more generalized, or you can do it via specific service. And you can do exactly the same for products. So you can drill it down into the companies, the lines of those products and the specific products themselves. So I'm going to find all of my clients that have had any combination of a color treatment. That doesn't have to be one specific color treatment. It can be a variation of them. Then underneath, I'm going to target my clients on, again, my service categories they've not had done. So this will now find me a list of clients that have had any color service, but have not been in for any ladies styling or cutting service. Towards the centre bottom, you can also set yourself a start date or an end date. Now, once you're happy and you've filled out the parameters, we can click the compute button down the bottom to see how many clients will be generated based on the information we've inputted. A warning box will appear just to say if any clients are in this list that have opted out for GDPR or marketing. We can now see on the left hand side we have a list of my customers. You may wish to exclude certain customers that don't have an email or mobile depending on what kind of platform you're going to be sending this campaign out on. Now once you're happy with this list of clients what we're going to do is we're going to click the save icon towards the right hand side. And we're going to rename the client list. Underneath, I would also then click onto the browse icon to choose a location to save it. We would perhaps recommend somewhere safe and secure is in a new folder in your desktop. Now, once we've done this, we're going to click the save icon on the right hand side. Once we have saved our targeted client list, this will be saved as a text file. We can now go ahead and create our targeted campaign in our cloud-based marketing platform or our Marketing Plus platform. For this example, we're going to be using our cloud-based marketing. So opening up our, our Shortcuts Cloud, 
by inputting our preferred URL of pos.shortcutsoftware.com. We're going to click onto the messages icon at the top. Then we're going to choose the second option down for one-time marketing. We're going to choose a targeted campaign. At the top, you can change the campaign name to better suit the subject. And you can change the send time, the send date. Now you'll notice we have a drop down arrow for our recipients. We're currently going to be using a use imported customer list as we've just imported the customer list from Shortcuts Fusion. But you can also send a targeted campaign up with clients that have visited within a date range. Underneath what we're going to do is upload our exported list from Fusion and this will be the text file we simply just created. We can now see the client list has been uploaded. From underneath, we can simply go ahead and create our campaign as we would normally. By filling out the display image, the subject line and the body of the email. Now again, if you do require assistance with this, we do have dedicated videos on our Shortcuts Learning Center. So now you know how to create a targeted campaign. Give it a try and thank you ever so much for watching.